What's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today is day three of my sewing marathon series so if well february sewing marathon series i also did one in january if today is your first video of my series just a quick recap so i'm doing four looks in this february so uh sewing marathon series here are the four fabrics that i'm using um and then you'll see the patterns as we go along the first one is that look, which I'm almost done with. And then the second look is a short, which I'm holding. So today I wanted to show you that I finally put my fabric in my sewing notebook. So I have each look and for this year, so I try to do a new, new one each year. Um, I forgot <laughs> for the January sewing marathon and I accidentally put it in my 2020 um, because my brain was like, it's still 2020 but it so we're starting out the february sewing marathon in the fabric notebook so i thought i would do just a quick four of what the four looks i'm doing and then i wanted to do kind of a new like format for it so i cut out this square and um put some labels on it so that way i know which way to cut the fabric so that way each look it will have the pattern name, the view, and then a little note about the fabric and pattern. So these are two of the looks, and then these are the two looks that I've actually started on. So let's get started today with this McCall's 8118. This pattern, view A, the wraparound shorts. So yesterday, I finished kind of the shell, except I didn't sew the outer seams of the shorts. Um, so here's it kind of just looks like a big thing of fabric here's the shorts i'm thinking that they're gonna be kind of big but then i was like no nah, they're gonna be it's gonna be an elastic waistband so they're gonna shrink up but what i want to focus on right now i just briefly read over the directions for this pattern because i've never used it before and so i'm gonna go here's one of the overlay plus the ties so i need to go and finish off each end i already searched it but what i need to do is press it down top stitch it all the way around to get a clean cut then so there's this piece and then there's this piece they're the same piece but they go on one goes on the front one goes on the back so after i finish them off then i'll attach them to this then i'll go in and sew the outer seams um, serge up the outer seams then I think I'm gonna go in and hem it um, so that is what I'm gonna do first um, because then after that you put in the elastic but I want to focus also today on finishing that so I think what I'm gonna do is all those steps on that then go to that because that is so 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 close to done and once we get there, I'll just kind of show you what I've done and what I need to do. So let's get to sewing. So I thought I would just go ahead and lay this down on the floor so you could kind of see better because on the mannequin, it just was not really, it wasn't good. So as you can tell, like I said yesterday, I always put a pin in what side is the front just to easily tell um, when, you know, looking at it real quick, especially for this because there's no front fly zipper or anything like that. Um, to where I'm like, oh yeah, front. So this is the overlay. It literally looks the same, the front and the back. The other overlay is right here. So they'll tie and it's pretty big right now, but it is going to be, um, there's going to be elastic in the waistband, which will kind of shrink it in. I went ahead and did the hem, as you can see. So yeah. The only thing I need to do is make the casing and stick the elastic in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this for today. So what I'm gonna do is sew down um, right side to right side this, then you flip it under and you get like a clean edge. It also needs to be hemmed. And then one of the arms needs to be hemmed because the other one already is. <laughs> and then I'll have to do a little bit of top stitching to get it to hold it down. And that look will be done. I've finished this look. Um, if you're wondering about the complete outfit change, it's because I spilled coffee all over myself. 
So here is this jacket. Sorry, I know the lighting is kind of weird, but a lot of you have been saying that you want to see the like clothing on. So here is what it looks like on me. And I'll also show you it on the mannequin because I think I can get a little bit better lighting. Here it is on the mannequin, just so you can finally see what it looks like. So now I've been starting on this. All I've done is sewn the center back seam. This is Simplicity 8955 jacket. Um, and I will show you the pattern in just a second. Here's the pattern for that look. So I'm gonna start working on this. Um, just doing some of the random easy seams. I have made so much progress on this look. So, Let's start with the sleeves. I've sewn together the front sleeve to the back sleeve at this seam right here, and then also the inside seam, and then I went ahead and did the cuff. Um, same with what I was talking about with that last, yesterday? I almost said last week again. This, I put a little pin to mark the front, because there's a front sleeve and there's a back sleeve, so I put a pin in the front sleeve, that way I know just like that, it's the front sleeve. So I went ahead and did both sleeves. Now let me take these off, that way I can show you the rest of the garment. As far as the rest of the garment goes, um, it's just kind of draped on here and it's gigantic looking right now. Um, so here is the front and it's not sewn at any sort of shoulder seam yet, you can see. So that's where the arm like the sleeve the armhole will go this right here is going to connect to the back so this is going to go up and around the neck like that and to kind of create that fold over um and i also did the tie ends so i have one tie in attached to the right front and then this one's actually pinned up so it will be easier to show so you can see this is the left front and then the other tie-in is connected here. Um, so that way they can tie. And then the back, just a solid back piece with a seam. So it's kind of fallen all over the place. But this, where you can see this, is going to connect like right there. And you can already see kind of where that seam will go. And then, so this is one of the front pieces and it will connect to the other front piece on the back. Um, just to kind of create this back piece right here. Um, kind of like a collar-ish. I would say it's a collar. Um, so yeah, that is the progress on this look. The very last thing I wanted to do today is work on this. Um, so it is really really close to being done I mean all the hems are done all the inside seams are done the only thing that needs to be worked on is this so I need to read the instructions again just to refresh but I believe you um first I need to finish this off either serge or turn under but I think you um turn it under like this and then you sew a casing and you put elastic in so um I need to read the instructions, go back and look how to do this, and then I'm gonna actually do it. Um, and then I think that will be it for today. Let me show you what I've been doing. So you fold it over and then you stitch down one line um, and then you stitch down here another line and leave a little gap open and stick the elastic in. This is gonna be, sur or not serge, stitched all the way closed but my bobbin ran out of thread um so i need to go refill my bobbin so this will be closed here just you can look right here this will be stitched all the way around um i'm gonna leave a little space open about this big to stick the elastic in um but first i'm gonna stitch all the way around leave a little case open stick the elastic in um and then it will be done Okay, I have the two, like, stitches seamed down. Sorry, I just totally blanked on what I was saying. So here you can see it better. So here's a line, here's a line, and the elastic will go in the middle, and that will make it shrink up um, 
because there's going to be less elastic than there is material to get that really scrunched up elastic waistband look. So the casing, um, there's like a little hole right here. It's kind of hard to see because of this line right here. Um, so I'll go ahead and thread the elastic through. Um, I usually put a um, safety pin, sorry, I totally blanked on that word too, a safety pin on the edge of an elastic. Um, and then I can kind of weasel its way through here um, all the way around till it ends back up here. Sew the elastic together, sew the casing down. Sometimes I sew the elastic down. I'm going to see um, kind of how it acts um, and then I'll be done. I just finished this garment. Um, we're just going to show it on the mannequin because I do not feel like changing into it. And it's already been a long video already. So you can see the um, elastic waistband. Sorry, just totally kind of blanked on that. And then the tie that goes over the front. So I just did a little short tie. That way I could open it up and show you the shorts. So they're super poofy um, because all that fabric is kind of cinched in with that elastic right here. But I really, really love them. And I also love this print on like for this design so here's the front tie front then the side and the back pretty much looks the same as the front oh it's folded over let me fix that there we go so yeah there's the back and then the tie for this back it just goes over like that and then you tie it right there so both ties they're both um, sewed in this seam right here, and they both go over and around to be tied right there. So yeah, that is this. Let me tie it real fast and then I'll show you. Here it is tied. Um, so like I was saying, it's tied over here and both seams come out of, they both are sewed into this side seam right there. So yeah. That's pretty much it for today's video. Day three. Tomorrow I will be sewing on that. And the skirt. This should be interesting. Hopefully it's just a, a bunch of quick seams. I haven't even really looked at the directions yet. So yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow.